big dovetailed corners are harder to fit together than smaller boxes where it's kind of easy to figure out exactly where it's tight and pair away on that dovetail or pin with a chisel. I want these dovetails to assemble easily but also be free of gaps. For a bigger dovetailed corner like this that can be a tough line to walk, here's a quick solution that's super helpful. Big corners have a lot of surface area, a lot of friction, and I don't necessarily want these dovetails to be super tight, but I want them to look tight. The size and weight here adds some risk to over tight dovetails. This is over 40 inches long. It's quite a bit of weight and also leverage being that long. And so some of the sensitivity just gets lost if I'm malleting this thing together just because it's kind of cumbersome. Worst case scenario, of course, would be a board splitting. Pine's pretty forgiving, so that probably wouldn't happen. Uh, it'd have to be a pretty rough job, but still you could get some cracks that go a couple inches down the board. Take a look at this dovetailed box with these cracks all over the board. The dovetails were both gappy and tight at the same time because I just, I wasn't able to saw anywhere near straight at the time. It's actually funny because I thought this thing was an absolute home run when I made it, which just goes to show that it doesn't even have to be near perfect to work out just fine. Okay, enough rambling. To make these slip together easily but still look really tight, I clamp the pen board in the vise with the wider part of the pen away from me and the tails of the tail board will flare out on the side closer to me. The only two edges that will show on a dovetail joint are along this top edge here and this outer edge. This area in the middle is the hidden inside corner of the joint. Again, this is on the wider, larger part of the pen. So I'm actually going to take a chisel and being careful to avoid the top edge and the outer edge, I'll pare down a little bit of wood off of the dovetail pins. Obviously you don't want to take off too much wood here and pretty much I'm just thinking about smoothing out the saw lines from the dovetail saw. Just to reiterate, I'm not trying to make a loose joint here just to cut down on some of the friction so that it assembles quickly and easily. This is still gonna be a very strong corner. Sometimes chiseling down the grain of the wood, wood will wanna take off too much or it's just not cooperating really well. So in that case, I paired across the grain with the chisel. And then I'll just clean the waste out of that bottom corner of the tail recess. I've never heard of anyone doing this before. It was kind of an experiment and it actually ended up working out really, really well for me. I'll definitely be trying it again. I probably wouldn't be doing this on smaller dove, like if it's just two or three dovetails, I would not do it. Or if you're new at doing dovetails, probably not do it then either. So now let's see just how easily this thing's going to tap together and how it looks. Super smooth assembly and check this out. I mean, it looks pretty darn good. I mean, the only real defects I'm, that are pretty obvious is where I sawed past the baseline in a couple spots, but that's no big deal. And with this size of corner, this many dovetails, it's still a very strong joint. I mean, here, watch me try to take this thing apart. It's almost like a sliding dovetail. When it's fully assembled, it's still very tight. And then as it begins to disassemble, it becomes looser and looser. These maybe aren't the world's best dovetails or anything, but after I get them glued up and planed up, maybe fix a few spots here and there, they're gonna look darn near perfect. And all with a zero risk, very easy assembly. Take it easy guys, I'll see you on the next one.